Hello YouTube and welcome to tutorial number 48 of the Microsoft Visual Basic .NET programming tutorials and in this tutorial I'm going to be going over once again in interacting with HTML elements in a web page but this time we're going to do it differently and I'm going to do two videos on this one I'm just going to show you how to use it and like what the code is and stuff and in the second video I'm going to show you a practical use of it now let me just point out that it's currently um, 1.11 p.m. and I haven't had any sleep all night. I am extremely tired. I, I haven't been asleep for like, I woke up like 30 hours ago or something and I'm probably not going to be able to go to sleep for like the next 12 hours either. I've got stuff to do so um, yeah, if I make any mistakes please forgive me. Um, I'm quite tired. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do to start this video off is I'm going to just give you guys a second introduction to HTML elements in a web page. And that's not because I think you guys are stupid, it's because a lot of people didn't understand it the first time and had difficulty understanding the, fi the first video. So in this video, I'm just going to explain to you, once again, HTML elements in a web page. Now, if you go to the YouTube login page right here, you can see this image right here. Now, what you're going to do is take the source code of this image, you select in source, and you'll see here, image src equals youtube you know this little thing here this is the html element now i've prepared an image which will pop up right now and yet yeah, what you can see on this image is first of all you can see the top part image and that that's basically the html element the image in purple at the top here and also the first thing listed here is html element now HTML element is basically an element of a web page and elements come in forms such as links, buttons, images, they're just things that make up a web page and they're enclosed in these pointy brackets here. Don't even know what they're called but I'll just call them pointy brackets. And if you know HTML or have any understanding of HTML then you will have come across HTML elements. You may have not come across this term before but you will, you will know what they are. Now an attribute is basically a property of an element. So let's say in this example here, the image, the attribute right here is SRC. So SRC is the property or attribute of this HTML element. Now finally, the value is the value that is assigned to the attribute. And in this attribute, SRC, the value is YouTube, for slash YouTube, underscore pixel, dot gif. Now value is, is values are always in quotations and the follow equal sign okay so um that was just a little to, uh, introduction to HTML elements and just not wanted to get that out, out of the way first okay so now that I've done this we can continue to, with the code and I'm just going to show you guys how to use um, HTML elements in a web page using HTML, whatever document dot all. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do first is create a new project, and I'm going to call it HTML Elements. And I'm going to create a simple application that's going to get take every single HTML element on a web page and put the SR. SRC attribute into a list box. So I'm going to put a button here. You need to add a button, a web browser, and a list box. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is first of all we're going to double click on the form load event and what we want, want it to do is on browser1.navigate <coughs> youtube.com I apologize my computer is quite slow <coughs> okay what we want it to do after it's navigated to there this button we're going to change the text to retrieve attributes and double click it now, in the previous tutorials, we've covered how to gather elements by their ID and also by their tag name. Now, the previous tutorial, which was 
um, how to gather by tag name. It's basically it, the code basically works exactly the same as that. What we do is basically we just use the same code. We're going to first of all declare the HTML element collection and then use a for loop. So what we do is we use declare. I'm gonna I'm going to call it all elements. Declare all elements as a HTML elements collection. I'm going to set that to the value of web browser one dot document dot all. It's not document dot get elements by tag name. It's web browser one document dot all. So all we need to do now is use a for loop. I'm going to say for each web page element as HTML oops element in all elements. And what we're going to do is add each attribute to a list box. So um list box one dot items dot add and in brackets we're going to say web page element dot get attribute and in quotations src. Now let me just point out that this is going to add some blank lines um, because you know many elements do not have src as an attribute. It's only going to get us the images but this is just a little example. Okay, so we're at the YouTube homepage. I'll achieve attributes. Give that a few seconds as there are many HTML elements on this page. And here we go, I think it's finished. Yeah. Now, all these images you can see here have been retrieved from every image on this web page. So, what we have right here is every image on the web page. Now, this isn't really what you will be using to collect images on a web page. This is just an example of how to use HTML element collection using web browser one document at all. Now this video is just an introduction to using web browser one document at all and in the next tutorial I'm going to teach you uh, a use of this and it's going to be something that a lot of people have problems with. It's um, when people want to try and interact with an element on a web page and it doesn't have an ID they, they always confused, they don't know what to do. And in the next tutorial, please keep this open. I'm going to continue from here. I'm going to show you how to click on the Facebook login button even though it doesn't have an ID. Okay, so um just click the annotation for the next tutorial and I'll see you there.